I'd like to introduce the next speaker, is Ms. Gamze uh, uh, Chilik Ilmaz, and she is from the Regional Environmental Center, and uh, she'll be talking uh, about that center and also about REAP, an uh, uh, interesting organization uh, working in renewable energy and energy efficiency. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Gamze Cekimas. I'm working for the Regional Environmental Center at the Climate Change Department. From now on, I will call the Regional Environmental Center as the REC because it's easy to say. Um, and after an introduction about the REC, I will give you information about the Renewable Energy and Energy Efficiency Partnership, which I will call from now on the REAP. And finally, I will talk about um, the REC's new Zero Emission Conference Center project which started in November 2007. The REC is a non-partisan, non-advocacy and not-for-profit international organization. It's uh, based in Saint Andre in Hungary and it's, uh, it was established in 1990 by the US, European Commission and Hungary. Um, its mission is to assist the countries of the region of the Central Eastern European region uh, tackling with environmental problems. And uh, it's legally based on a charter signed by the 29 governments of the, of the region. Mm. This uh, intergovernmental organization has 200 uh, employees um, in, in the whole region. And uh, each country of the region has uh, one rec country office. It has, um, it has 300 um, um, running projects every year. And it has a two million, 12 million euros uh, annual turnover. REC promotes uh, the cooperation of all the environmental stakeholders um, between governments, citizens, businesses, NGOs, and local governments also. Um, the REC supports uh, free exchange of information between these environmental stakeholders. And uh, in all the actions and projects it implements, it, uh, the REC involves uh, public in environmental decision making. Now I come to the REAP, which I just mentioned. It's the Renewable Energy and Energy Efficiency Partnership. It's a global partnership which was launched by the UK in 2000, 2002. Um, it has nine regions all over the world. And the REC hosts the Central Eastern European uh, region of the REAP, the regional secretariat of the REAP. And the REAP has 200 more than 200 partners, and 36 of them are governments. Uh, and Hungary has just joined the REAP last year. Besides the governments, it has uh, partners of businesses, industry, financiers, uh, financiers, and civil society. It's funded by the European Union and some, some 11 governments. REAP basically aims to remove the market barriers for the implementation of renewable energy and energy efficiency projects. It aims to improve the access to reliable uh, and clean energy for the poor people all around the world. How does uh, REAP fulfill its mission? It develops and promotes policies, regulations and standards which support the energy efficiency and renewable energy projects. And it establishes uh, innovative finance mechanisms for energy efficiency and renewable energy projects. Some example of our projects which we recently had in 2007 and uh, in the first quarter of 2008 are uh, training for regulators. Together, together with ERA, um, we, had, uh, we trained uh, regulators from the region uh, about um, distributed generation and um, renewable energy connection to the grid. And we recently had a workshop on energy efficiency financing uh, for the block buildings. We, we introduced a new, um, um, we actually not, not ourselves introduced, um, but we made a workshop about a new energy ef efficiency financing mechanism for the block house buildings. Again, in March, we had a renewable energy promotion um, workshop in Southeast Europe. Uh, in cooperation with Open University, Energy Institute, Royal Pazar. And um, we had a media, media award uh, giving ceremony in the, together with the same workshop. And uh, we had various meetings with our partners. As I just mentioned before, um, 
it was initiated by the Italian Ministry of Land and Sea. The other donors were um, Iceland, Liechtenstein, and Norway. The whole strategy was to use renewable energy resources for all energy consumption of the building. For that, uh, local renewable energy resources were used, uh, geothermal and solar, as I just mentioned. And, uh, of course, uh, energy efficiency um, precautions were taken to minimize energy demand. And advanced control systems were used uh, within the within the building, and of course the aesthetic and functional and comfort requirements were fulfilled. Uh, when we come to the lighting system, this is the, uh, I don't know how if you can see it clearly, that this, um, this is the window, and there's this light shelf on the windows, and it, it's very basic that it's totally covered with white, and the ceiling is covered with white also, so the um, daylight comes in inside and it's reflected from the ceiling and to fill uh, to fill all the room, so um, less electricity will be used for the for the lightning. And this, these light shelves can be adjusted in in summer to to warm to avoid warming up the building. And um, there are light sensors inside, and these sensors sensors are connected to the computer, and, and they are they provide appropriate dimming according to the natural lighting available. When there's too much light, of course, the lights are off. Or when there's no one inside the room, the sensors work and the lights are automatically switched off. Electricity generation is going to be provided through two um, solar, solar, um, solar panels, which is one of which is at the roof, and the second is on the southern side of the building. And it's going to pr produce 22,300 kilowatts of energy per year. Excess energy that's produced will be given to the, to the grid in summer, of course. Uh, and in winter, in case the electricity is not enough, uh, then energy will be taken from the grid. Heating and cooling will be provided uh, through heat pumps, which are connected to the underground um, water resources, ge geothermal resources. When we come to the costs and benefits, uh, of the project. The total cost of the um, project is less than a million euros. Um, it may sound too much to you just for renewable energy implementation, but uh, please don't forget the whole building was um, renovated from zero. And um, we will have a minus in investment rate and an expected 20 years of payback time. The f financial benefit is the excess electricity will be given to the grid and um, Although with current, infl current inflation we expect 20 years of payback time, uh, if we consider the inflation of energy, uh, the acceleration in the inflation of energy, uh, it may be less than 20 years. As I mentioned before, uh, the main aim of this uh, conference center was a um, zero emission, zero, zero greenhouse gas emission building. Uh, and. Um, building for training and demonstration for the whole Central Eastern Europe. So um, if you consider these, um, then we believe that we have reached our targets. Um, I don't want to forget to mention that all the energy is generated from local renewable energy sources. And uh, training and demonstration center is uh, open to um, all the Central East European countries. Thank you for your attention.